Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Friday, April 8, 2022. It's flipping time for our 1948 20-foot Truscott runabout. What we are going to attempt is to videotape the process we use that involves this roller, these two rolling straps, the yellow ones, and then our winch straps. Particularly when you're flipping a boat of this size, what tends to happen is that it's very easy to turn it 90 degrees so that it's on its side. And then inertia takes over. What we've done in the past is to use a pulling rope and a single winch to get it past vertical. But then we've encountered a couple of times a really dangerous, mostly for us, but of course also for the boat, issue that as it goes past vertical, Angular momentum accelerates, or the angular motion accelerates. The boat just roars around. And we have have bumped one on the ground. Of course, that was mine, so that doesn't count. And this one's mine, so it, I guess it doesn't count either. And as it goes by, we've had some really abraded forearms. So the, the idea is that we tie the pulling rope to one of the bilge springers, stringers and run it over the top of the roller and to this winch that is shackled to the wall on the starboard side. That's the pulling rope. In other words, we're going to roll this boat this way towards me. The other winch, which you see hanging up high, will be attached to the other build springer, stringer, and it is the brake. So what we'll do is first roll it manually up to a point, and then we begin using the two winches. We have the brake on one side, we have the puller on the other side, and we, so far, every time, have been able to execute a controlled roll. So we will go ahead and get ready, and once we get to the go point, we'll be back with you. All right, we have the winches connected, and I'll take a look down in the build so you can get a good sense of what we're doing. This is the pulling rope. It runs around underneath the boat, up over the roller, to the pulling winch, which is right here. This is the brake rope, runs over the roller, around underneath the hull, and attaches to the starboard build stringer. So the port build stringer is going to come to us, the port gunnel is going to come to us, the starboard gunnel will roll, will roll down and away, and I think there was an author who wrote something about the best laid plans of mice and men. Let's see how we do. First, we have to raise this thing as high as we can. And once we do, and once we're ready to start rolling, we'll be back. All right, we've got her in the air. You can cut the tension in the room with a knife. So, 
We're ready to staff the winches. You see, we have her quite a ways off the ground. The reason for that is once she goes to 90 degrees, the thin dimension of the boat is in the strap, so it will drop quite a bit. Go ahead, guys. Now see, Joe is pulling, and Rick is slowly allowing the other winch. Yeah. All right, we're clearing the ground. We're clearing the roller. This is a heavy, heavy boat. As you see, she's coming over. Nicely. She's under control. And the brake is keeping her from going too far that way. You gotta let back a little bit go. It looks like uh, we can already see that we're gonna have some interesting work to do on this bottom. Uh, there's some kind of a patch right there in the, in the middle running along the keel. Wonder what that is? But we'll know soon. All right, we're gonna let her down, put her on her dollies, and start deconstructing her bottom. So that's flipping day with our 1948 20-foot Prescott runabout. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boat Works.